What's good guys? Listen, the video you're about to watch, the unboxing video was shot a couple weeks ago already. Just know I've been using it. The review will come out much shorter time just because I've been using it. But again, this video is gonna be talking about the, this guy right here. It's just a quick unboxing video. And again, heads up, guys, make sure you check me out on Instagram. That's where you're gonna find a lot of the behind the scenes stuff where I post a lot of my, you know, recent uh, purchases and, and you guys love to ask me questions there. So make sure you stay tuned through the whole video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit me up on Instagram and let's get to this video. We have a clipper that a lot of people have been asking me to take a look at. Now, I will disclose that the people from the Kemi store on Amazon reached out to me and asked me if I want to take a look at the clipper. Obviously, that's what I do, so I said yes, but that's not going to interfere in how I think about this machine in any way. My own opinions will come with the full review, so don't worry about that. So, let's just open this box up and see what's in it. So once we unsleeve it, you see they actually have a design of the clipper itself. Now, if I didn't say it already, this is the 1986 Plus or Pro. Actually, in this one, it doesn't say that, but I'm pretty sure that's what they sent to me. Oh, actually right here, model uh, KM1986 Pro. So that is what we have. And in fact, let's take a look at what we have as far as battery life got a 2200 milliamp hour battery, three hour charge time, 180 minutes continuous use. It says it's sporting 25% more powerful. We'll see, we're gonna have to test all that stuff out to make sure, but that's about it. Let's get right into this box now. Take this out, put this over here. We're <laughs> We're introduced with the clipper itself, but before we do, I know that there's other accessories. So we'll put that aside. And we have a couple of guards. But here we go. We have a, a user and manual. So if you want just a little bit more information about the machine, take a look. Here you go. This comes with several guards. We have a number four, a number two, a number three, a number one, another number four, and a number five. So those are the ones that come in the box. Who's here? Here is the charging cable. If you take a look, you can see this is the charging cable it comes with. And it doesn't have a charging brick, but it is USB which is fine, this makes it easier as far as international, you don't have to have a whole bunch of different plugs, a bunch of different in international plugs, so connect this to your standard USB plug or of some sort, and uh, you're, you're off and running, you don't have to do anything. I'm trying to see, I wanna see if this is the same one as the 86, so let's find out. I'll find out, and you'll know more about that in the full review this aside and then it gives you a comb now these combs are really good when you're doing some styling especially for like pompadour boards and stuff so this is pretty cool that it comes with this um, these are not really expensive anyways but hey it's added bonus 
move this aside. Put all this on the floor. And let's unwrap this guy right here. So we have the actual clipper itself. It's protected right here from turning on with this little, what is this, uh, sticky residue? It's like a piece of tape. And my first initial impression is it feels good in the hands. It's, it's definitely a well-built clipper. Um, let's turn this guy on and see if there's any power to it. Definitely some power. I'm definitely gonna need to oil these guys up. And we have the click motion. Here's the sound test. That sounds pretty damn good. Again, it's got the click motion and we look like we have five clicks. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So that is really good, we have five clicks. That gives you a little bit more position, uh, precision when it comes to this tool. I'm not a fan of 96 when it comes to their click levels because they only have four clicks and I just think you just really can't do a lot of more detail work with it. I think you need at least five, but this is good. This is very good. Um, came almost a full charge this has a ridge blade on it so if you want to do if you want to keep this blade we're gonna find out if it's any good if not you know we'll probably have to change it for something else maybe my my preferred blade would be the fade blade and links to all that stuff will be in the description guys I always have links to the description in the description to a lot of tools I use I get a lot of people ask me what's the blade I use it's always going to be linked in the description so just check that out and uh, again the design definitely a little bit more different than the original 1986 that's why they went with the pro version it feels about the same weight I do have a scale which I'm going to have to test it out and we'll you know we'll do a comparison video another whole nother video after the review we'll do a comparison video between these two machines and then we'll go from there but that's it, that's what comes in this box. I'm pretty happy with the overall build quality so far. Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking me to take a look at this machine, so glad I finally got my hands on it. You can hear that, it's well built. Even this is a, a, another metal plate, so that's good. And this is, um, this is the unboxing of the Kemi 1986 Pro. So guys, stay tuned for the full review when it comes out. Um, leave your questions down below what you guys want to see in that video, and we'll go from there. Till next time, I will see you around. Peace. <laughs>